Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. We've been focusing primarily on the Eastern Warlord, and since that front is slowly coming to a halt, we've managed to push them back quite a bit. Let's quickly jump over to the West now. The defeat of the two Western Warlords has caused a bit of a power vacuum here, so we sent in our Astrakhazy militia to clear up some of the bandits that are moving into the area. Looks like there's a base up ahead here, well, a couple of bases up ahead here that have been taken over by bandits. Um, I have no idea if they've got any kind of affiliation, but we're going to clear them out, let them know that, at least let the people around here know that uh, we're interested in ke uh, keeping and creating stability here. Um, we definitely want to, we would definitely want the people in the area to know that we're on their side. That way, if anything happens, uh, we'll at least have people that can let us know what's going on. So the only thing that's different with the Militia Corps now is that we've got an extra unit to move into battle. Um, we were able to put some uh, mech parts together, mostly urban mech parts, and put together a mobile turret for these guys. Now it's not really that uh, heavily laid out. It's got an MML9 with uh, LRM and SRM ammo, and it's got Artemis ammo too, which is great, uh, and an ER laser magnum. Uh, plus a SRM-6. So it's not really that heavily laid out, but it does have a fair bit of mobility. It is 35 tons, so it's able to get a bigger core into this thing. It moves a little bit faster, and pretty much everything is as it was. So we're going to go ahead and move forward Hi. here, move the Comet forward, move Red Comet forward, and find out what we're up against up here. Okay, so we got a Locust, looks like, over here. We're going to have low chances to hit, and I'm okay with that to start. Normally I would reserve, but so this is a gladiator. Not worried about that. We got a better chance to hit the locust. I'm leave the tag off. Uh, we've only got chaff and sensor on this guy. Let's drop some sensor on him, uh, just because if he moves, we, we might not be able to see him again. But this will at least help out a bit. Tags on him. Sensors are down. Nice. So now at least if he moves, he won't disappear on us. Commander. All right, let's get in there. Maybe we can help finish that guy up. So the mobile turret you can see has actually got a fair bit of movement to it and it's a nice support unit for this lance. I was looking for something to put together something that could at least uh, provide some fire support. Copy that. And I think this mech actually does it quite nicely. With the mix of uh, um, SRM and LRM Artemis ammo it's, it's actually quite good. I want to get some more di like different types of ammo in here but it's going to take a while. Alright, we can't really hit this guy so we're going to just hold off and save some of our ammo. And I apologize for the rotary, the rotors again. I haven't really, I've been meaning to go into the the uh, Battletech files to try and find out. Oh yeah, sorry, the other vehicle we picked up was a Bradford. I'll show you this guy here in a second. I've been meaning to go into the sound files of Rogue Tech to try and find out if I can, um, time. Let's go. if I can uh, lower the uh, sounds of the lambs and their rotors, or at least maybe even turn them off. That should be, I mean, if I don't know if the Rogue Tech people are listening, but that should be an option. They should have the ability to turn that sound on and off. I prefer it, if you can hear it right now, it's just very faint and in the background. That should be the maximum level. Just enough to give you an atmosphere in the battle, like the engines of the vehicle. Like if you're, if you're far away, you can kind of hear the hum of the engine, but it should just be there. You can kind of hear it, but that's as loud as it gets, you know, just for atmosphere. But if you get too close, it's just a little loud in my opinion. And the fact that when they get shot down, the sound stays, that's just annoying too. Okay, so this Bradford that we picked up, it's actually got Thunderbolt. It's got a high explosive and standard Thunderbolt ammo, Thunderbolt 15, and a grenade launcher with flare and smoke. So it's actually kind of good. Um, it's a good utility vehicle. Now the Thunderbolt, I don't think expecting to hit all that often. Um, but, you know, the fact that we've got a grenade launcher on this thing too, it's going to make uh, mechs and stuff easier to hit, like that guy just moved in. So I don't know if you guys actually visit my channel or just wait for my, me to post. If you go to my channel and go down, uh, I think it's along, closer to the bottom, I've got a, 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 a playlist called YouTube Selects. And I usually drop in videos that I, I, I really like and I think people might be interested in watching. They're not mine, they're obviously they're other people's, but um, there's a guy that I follow and I apologize because his name's, I believe it's in server, like he's, I think, I believe he's Russian, but he does a lot of uh, different things for Battletech. And the one thing he's moving on now, working on now is way, like a waypoint movement. So you can choose like a half waypoint 
and then a final destination point. So now rather than having to run through a minefield, you can kind of click on one side of it and then click around it and your mech will kind of go around it. Ready for order. Uh, and it looks like, like he's got a sample of it up there. It looks really good. Like, um, I mean, it's never going to be perfect. Well, maybe it will be, I don't know. But um, the, even like just having that hey. one extra waypoint is so good like it's so, I wouldn't say it's crucial but um, it's sorely needed for Battletech like you need that extra movement waypoint maybe not in Battletech but definitely in Rogue Tech with all the mines and sensors and things on the ground you want to be able to move around them right so and then the mines wouldn't be so broken I think you know all right done Started off in the woods here. It makes it hard for us to move in. Who's that? Got sensors on them, though. No? Stinger. Stinger. Flea. Oh, they're not. It wasn't a, uh, in the gladiator. Okay. Not so yes, bad. Commander. I thought it was a locust there, but... Let's get in here. Going full throttle. So this Bradford's actually got some okay armor on it. The uh, Thunderbolt 15 is a huge... Um, change for us. It's going to mean possibly bringing down Max relatively quickly. I'm just going to go, let's go high explosive. Better chance to hit and we can splash over to the flea. I, it'll probably remove the sensors, but we're getting close enough anyway, so. Target acquired. Yeah, nothing. I'm going to try and, like I said, I was going to try and stay with vehicles with this Lance. It is a militia unit, so I may have a couple of mechs here or there. Um, definitely not going to be all urban mechs, but, you know, we may throw a few other mechs in. I have collected enough parts for an enforcer. Um, so I may bring that into, like, play every once in a while. Um, if we need to do, like, a harder mission, I'll bring the enforcer in. I haven't outfitted it yet. It's still sitting in my... Um, let's get up and get some height. It's still sitting in my mech bay. Let's get on these guys, I think. I'm there. So I haven't brought it forward yet. I think it's an I think it's the older version of the Enforcer too. It's not a modern version, so that's a bonus. I don't want to go too too much with it. Um gonna hold off on these. Tag arrow maybe? We could do a spy sat ping, but we can already see these guys. Oh, there's fifty percent on this guy. Forty three on the stinger. Look at the tag arrow here. He's going to take it at the end of the turn. So let's go with this stinger here. Tags on. Barrage is... was a miss. Oh well. This playthrough is going to be a lot trickier to uh, go up and level with. Simply because it's it's uh, you're it's all depending on the kinds of vehicles we can get, right? And even if you get heavier vehicles, there's no guarantee that it's going to be uh, good enough to be able to take on heavier c opponents. But we're going to go as far as we can with it. We'll try some stuff. Like this is a one skull. That is something We've got seven vehicles down, or we got six vehicles and a mech down. I was able to expand the. Um, the drop capacity and I'm only gonna with this one I'm only gonna expand the vehicle drop capacity so we'll never really be able to feel the full oh boy. Uh, like Here two lances of max we could feel one lance of max but then hopefully we can feel two lances of vehicles or more I mean I will ex eventually expand the uh, the mech base only to be able to field more vehicles in the future but what do we got here 27 let's go after this flea see if we can take it out like it's, it's really a balance. We got we have heavy, relatively heavy firepower with this lance, but then again, we got like almost no defense too, right? So it's really a big trade-off. So yeah, this we're gonna switch over to SRM with Artemis and fire on this guy. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But I gotta say, it's fun playing with vehicles. It's a lot more challenging. Like the urban mech playthrough is is interesting, right? Because you gotta be, with 30 ton mechs, you gotta be very, very careful, especially when they have zero movement. 
Because if the enemy gets up on you, you, you could be in a lot of trouble. There's no escaping them, right? You can't get away from enemies. Um, with vehicles, like these are slow vehicles, so we couldn't get away from enemies either. But we have heavier firepower. Ooh, a little better on this guy. Like, relatively heavier firepower. We just gotta land our shots a lot more. And the fact that we can't actually... Um, Standing by. Outfit these these vehicles the way we want them to be. We're kind of stuck with our loadouts. That makes it a lot more tricky too, right? So we got 12% on him and 23 on him. Let's fire on this guy. Leave the machine gun up. Here it comes. But that's the goal. I'm trying to like each of the different um, units that we have in the game. I want to try and do at least a different playthrough style with. Um, I'm planning on introducing a fifth unit into the game. I'm not going to tell you more n more about that. I mentioned it a little while ago. Um, but that's going to be coming up next week. So this is going to be a weekend episode. Um, but next week we'll have uh, another unit entering the play. Now, it's, once again, it's not going to be all... It's not going to be playing all the time. It'll be every once in a while. Like this Lance is. We're still going to focus primarily on the Dragons, Rejects, and uh, the Night Gaunts. Uh, let's see if we can get a back shot on this guy. But then we'll have supporting units too, right? Alright, um... Leaving the bomb mines off, I think, for this playthrough. Let's go with Chaff, make it harder for him to hit. Not that he's gonna have... Not that he's gonna do too much damage. Even the gladiator's not gonna do too much. Okay, let's get into the side of this guy. Location I love the fact that the that Irby's have got 360 degree field of fire. And we'll just hammer this guy. Hopefully we'll take him down here. Confirmed. Yep. Target eliminated. Yeah, the Target Artemis on this mobile turret is insane. Also, too, if you're wondering, I did a test because I wanted to see... Um, oh, yeah. You notice so it says min distance, less than 90. So helicopters have got a um, velocity now. So you can't stop on a dime. You have to at least travel like you can't like you can't move up here and stop, and then not like not move the next turn. You still have to continue movement a little bit. It's got a little bit of inertia, which I think is kind of an interesting, um, an interesting uh, game dynamic. I don't whether or not I agree with it. I don't know yet. Okay. But I like it, because copters have got a little bit of a free range of the battle. Okay. But you would think, though, that if a copter was going to stop in a certain spot, yep, that it would be arcing back anyway before it gets there, so that the next stop. turn that it, it would be hovering in the same location, which is why I kind of, I kind of agree with it and I kind of disagree with it. I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air. Because you know helicopters can't stop on a dime, they can't bank on a dime, you know. You gotta be predict- like you gotta know- Ooh, that's a hard hit. You gotta know what you're planning on doing before you do it. Good to go. Good to go. That looks like a good Copy place that. to be. We got a chance for a hit here. 25. 43. Let's go high exp I don't know if we're going to hit our guy, though. I don't think we will. The I don't think it'll hit the copter. Let's go flare. I copy. Alright, we got illumination, but that's about it. Oh shit, she did get hit. That's the other thing they got to do. If you're going to do that, if you're going to have the copters up high like that, they have to be out of, like, out of range of, like, fragmentation and stuff. You know, give them advantage for being, uh, like, high, so, like, Position you know, confirmed. you can't use area effect, like, gro area ground effect on them, things like that, but then also to give them a, uh, the minus, because you can't hide, right? You're always higher than, than hills and stuff. They can't hide right now, so, um, 
you know, give them some other ability to, to uh, that makes up for that. Roger. Um, yeah. All weapons, Receiving you. All right, you don't need to move. I think we're going to sit still with this one. We're going to go to regular, though. Because if we're getting splash damage, I want to avoid that. Yes! Stinger took the... <laughs> it took the hit. It took the hit. Like, we should... Uh, so the, the copter should get the bonus to hit for being up high. But it does you can't hide. You don't get any bonus from trees. Like, there shouldn't be any... Advent, like, advantages to this thing. Um, gotta throw the missile rack on. If they launch, they launch. If they don't, th these things are like streaks, so they're either gonna hit or they're not. Let's see what you got. Or they're not gonna fire, that is. You know? Right here. Which kind of makes the AWAX, it doesn't really have that much um, I'm there. firepower. But it is, a vers it is kind of a versatility thing, so. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot in this guy. Yep, nice. Wasn't right a back shot though, because he doesn't have that much back armor. MRM 20, I want to get you a little further into the battle, I think. No shooting, just run. Go no, no, we got shooting too, Bubba. We got shooting too, right here. I want this guy out of our midst. I came to bring the pain hardcore. And he's out. Pilot incapacitated. Yes, Commander. So like I said, I haven't really decided what types of mechs we're going to use and how often we'll use them. The mobile turret, I think, sort of complements vehicles. It's slow enough, you know, it kind of dawdles along about the same speed as most of my vehicles. So that kind of a compliment. And we may want to look at something like a, you know, like a Locust or Stinger or Wasp, just as an advanced scout. Commander. Uh, let's keep everybody together here. I think if the Bulldog goes off that direction, it's not going to get a chance to fire here. Let's go on this guy. That is the one thing with vehicles, though. You really need to stay yes, so that they can all shoot at the same target. I think it's more important than it is with mechs. Because, I mean, with, at least with these guys, you don't have the mobility. Right? You don't have the ability to get around behind people. So, if I was to move the bulldog this way, and the gladiator decided to move this way, then the bulldog's at a battle probably for at least two turns, maybe three, before it can get back into the fight. So it's just a ways to do that, you know? If you're going to do that, do it with your copters. Don't do it with the with the vehicles Hot damn. Let's do this. and even then you got to be careful because the copters don't have a lot of hit points so if they get hit you got you're in a lot of trouble right uh full sprint can we I thought, it's, I thought it gave me a green there there we go all right let's move yeah I think you no know, copter should like if you're firing onto the ground the, then you know these guys should be immune to like um, being able to hit your own guy, things like that, you know. Way, wow, that's uh, terrible. You don't have to worry about looking the wrong way. You can't hit him. You can look the wrong, you can look the wrong way all he wants. Standing by. Yeah, but there's a few game mechanics I think they need to have another discussion on. Uh, one of them is mines. Um, and aircraft. That's another just, I mean, Standing by. you got to have a discussion on these guys. Yeah, because I, mean, I, I like the idea that you have um, your limited in trajectory here. Now, why can't I get...
Is it? Why can't I see that guy? Oh, the guy. <laughs> Never mind. The Gauss rifle's jammed. Um, doesn't matter where I go. These guys are going to be able to see me. I'll just kind of move over here. It's so hard to hide a copter. Like, like, see that? <laughs> nope. It's still jammed. So the offline playthroughs I've been doing with this with this unit, um, for the offline play I do, um, Systems holding. that that Gauss rifle jams an awful lot. So I want to try and find. It, it does a lot of damage when it hits, but it doesn't hit often enough compared to how often it jams to justify keeping that copter. So I want to try and find a different one. Like even something with like a lot of SRMs would be better, I think. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get the stinger. Nope. Waiting for orders. Heading out. Okay, everything on this guy. Let's, yeah, leave it there. Target. But I've been trying to do my best after every mission to go in and sell all of the parts that don't work with the playthrough. Ah, that's nice. I'm doomed. Doomed. Yeah, see, she should not got hit by that. Waiting for orders. That needs to. I think that needs to go away. Because those those grenade launchers, they're they're, they're not going to explode until they contact with the ground. The chance of actually hitting the copter with them is probably nil. Because you can set an altitude fuse, altitude fuse as well, right? So. So they don't go off in the air, but they go off on the ground. Anyway, that's just, you know, here nor there. Let's go after this. Definitely get the barrage. -y. No, stay away from me. Oh, that hurts. Good to go. You can see how you can see what I mean about how vulnerable these these uh, vehicles are. No problem. Wow. Especially when they don't hit. Damn it. So what vehicle was that? Oh, that was my MM... Oh, no. My MRM vehicle. My Scorpion. That's what that was. Receiving you. This thing's really hot now. Actually, can I move up there? No, I can't. Going full Just sprint up here. I think we'll leave the laser off and fire the rest. See if we can get him to target me. Commander. Target me. Target that guy. <laughs> yeah, target me. Target acquired. Oh, yeah, man. Totally worth it. Damage minimal. You need me to hold still for you? Yeah, we got splash on that, did we? Yeah, you're still jammed. There were, yeah, still jammed. There was one uh, offline match that I played where that thing was jammed for five turns straight. I couldn't get it to not be jammed. The way I... And I don't know whether it was the reason why it became unjammed or not, but I just sat completely still. When I was far enough away from combat, and then it unjammed, and I don't know if it was just, you know, random or what it was. But that was the only thing yes, Commander. that appeared, yeah, see, it's still jammed. It's still jammed, I didn't move and it's still jammed. Minimum distance. So little, like, yeah, you know, like, little gameplay 
mechanics like that. I really love how they've integrated them into the game. It basically stops you from getting like a Gauss rifle chopper and just having it sitting back and just constantly firing all the time. Or moving into a position and constantly firing. I mean, you could do it. As long as you didn't move the turn before, but... Yes, Commander. Alright. All the hope rests on you. Firing on target. Ooh, another hit. Nice. Yes. Target's taking a critical hit. Engine's taking Let's a crit, which means he's going to overheat. Okay, good chances to hit. Magnus coming up. Offensive push. Going to go after the leg. There's the knockdown. Didn't get the leg, but that's fine. I mean, I can't keep the mech parts. I'm going to be destroying the mech parts. But I want to get as many components as I can, too. For any future mechs that we do pick up. So... I'm mostly in it for sea bills, right? So... Let's go on this. Come on, bail out. Come on, dude. The battle's over. Just go home. Pirate scum? I guess it would be, technically be bandit scum. They're not really pirates. Good. Shoot the mobile turret. At least that thing's got half-decent armor. Orders. Just fire at him. I gave him a warning. Gave him a warning. Confirmed. Oh yeah, minimum distance. See, but like... It's a minimum distance, but not directional. So I flew this way, right? But now I can fly back the other way. <laughs> um... So the, I, I'm, I'm immune to the minefield, I'm immune to the flames. So that's two bonuses of the copters, right? Two benefits. I'm on. Tags on. He inflicted some nasty on that. Right here. While you're waiting for your Gauss rifle to unjam, let's just move over here, and we'll uh, still jammed. We'll get the objective. Yeah. What can I do you for? Can't get a side shot in this guy. That's alright. I mean, I could have if I, if I sprinted, but it's just harder to hit at that point, too. Okay, his medium laser's gone. To second Wait, engine crit. Heavy damage. We're gonna fire that large, are ya? Enjoy that heat. Oh, it didn't go up too much. Probably should have used. Oh, we hit anyway. Should I was just gonna say I probably should have used high explosive for that, but did not need to. All right, we'll unload on this guy. He's got like no armor left. Come on, go home. There you go. Another engine crit. There it is, folks. Good work. So once our pilots are better too. I mean, these pilots aren't half bad, but once they're better, I mean, the chances to hit will, will, you know, slowly start to go up. Yeah, see, like, I could take a full gladiator if I wanted to, but I can't use it, right? So I'm looking just for sea bills at the moment. That's 400,000, or anything that's really good other than that. Ah, primitive, primitive, primitive. This is 100,000, so we'll take that. And you know what? We'll take, the, we'll take all the gladiator pieces, assemble it, and then just ditch it. I mean, we could go for a stinger, but what's the point? Ah, we almost got it. No big deal. Alright, let's just sell some stuff off. Uh, we've got two large that can go. We've got 
three medium see ya um, I should probably keep one basic cockpit ditch the 120 core keep a standard fire control system keep the heat sink the jump jets can go primitive cockpit can go primitive sensors you can go and you can go all right so we made okay on that one so after handling that last unit of bandits and taking their base we've got another unit of bandits here they've actually built this base here in a relatively short time they built it up against an old abandoned structure that was here um, looks like they got some turrets that are online so we're going to go in here and destroy it just so that any other bandits that are in the area know that they won't be able to build anywhere near us or anywhere near our territory so we're going to go in and get rid of these guys with extreme prejudice just move forward I'm going to use the tag barrage early I think on this one because I think we should get a half decent oh it's out of range never mind I was going to say we should get a half decent arctic fox really Ooh, gossip placement. I was going to say we should get a half decent uh, chance to hit on these, but let's use chaff on this guy. Copy that. Okay. Scrambling his sensors. So this is interesting. So I know I said we weren't going to be taking mech parts in particular, but if we can get an Arctic Fox put together, I think that'll be one of the mechs that I Ready keep for this order. unit. And I'll scrap the, uh... Ooh, yeah... I think I want to get higher. I'll scrap the uh, Enforcer and keep the Arctic Fox. Wow, really, I have to move forward to be in range. Okay. Alright, let's drop... Yeah, alright. I'm gonna put some... well... I can't remember if smoke gives us, makes it harder for us to hit as well. I think it does. We've already got flares, but we'll fire the grenade launcher anyway. It'll do a few points damage. Let's hope we get lucky with this thing. Confirmed. Nope. I could have used the HE, but I wasn't sure if we we're going to get close or not. I prefer to get a, a, a good hit on it. Anubis? Okay. I was really hoping to find some vehicles in this particular one. Maybe we'll, there's... I still haven't seen one yeah. unit. What can I do you for? So maybe we'll get... Uh, ooh, still out of range, eh? Maybe we'll find a vehicle here we can get some parts from. Okay. Commander. Commander. Wow, that turret is just out of range. I guess it's kind of a good thing. It means that we'll be at max range for this thing too. Let's drop some lerms on this guy. Wow, one hit, eh? Receiving you. Let's stay where they can't hopefully see you. Like right there. Last thing I want is a gossip placement to take this thing out quickly. Uh, we, we want to get you up here. One good thing about the yellow jacket is it does have uh, lots of ammo for the Gauss rifle. Copy that. Firing out yes, the making up for that last mission. But it does jam on a regular basis, so got to be careful oh, yeah. of that. Got LRM-10, so let's move up. Can we get to a firing solution? No, we cannot. The bad thing about these guys is they've got the, uh, all the vehicles are really slow. we got a big problem with mobility. Good to go. That's indirect. That's direct. I'm just going to move. I'm not going to sprint here. Keep with a better chance to hit. That's actually not bad. Keep the flare on this guy. Knowledge. That's going to be a hit. Yep. Nice. So I don't see if there's another unit anywhere. Once I get a bit more confident with these guys, I think I'll move up to a... This is another one skull mission. I'll move up to a skull and a half. 
but I'm still not 100% confident with these guys. Commander. It's just like all it takes is, you know, one one or two well-placed shots from the enemy and that's it for us, right? Uh... That's a building, building. Building? Urban back turret. I don't know what those are lasers or what they are. Leave this off. I'm gonna use some chaff on this turret. Okay, we got one on. Standing by. Let's get down this direction. No shooting, just running. Got it. I'm gonna head more towards the mechs. Like I said, we got finite speed, so got to determine where the best routes are going to be. Now can I get, if I go up here I can't get down, so I have to go down this way I guess. It's tough deciding what mechs will complement a vehicle unit, because oh, usually it's no. the other way around. Usually you want the vehicles to complement the mechs. So if you got a fast moving oh, force, Right? It's nice for the vehicles to be your artillery. If you've got a slow moving force, then it's nice to have them for uh, scouting. Let's just keep shooting this okay. cost emplacement. Or, or not. Or we could kill the guys over here. Bad luck. Yeah. Good to go. As long as Anthony's not sitting up there, that's all that matters. Make sure we don't hit him. Going full speed. I'm sure he's watching from a better vantage point though. All right, let's fire at this guy. All right, 15, take it. What do you need? I mean, not like I have a choice, but uh, there's a direct line of sight Got it. for the Lurm. So we got a Hornet down here. Nice. Waiting for orders. I thought the Hornet had mortars, but I guess it's got, uh... Christ, this guy's got, like... On the move. Still out of range. I guess it's got to learn five now. Yeah, man. Shoot as much down as you can. You need me to hold steel for you? So that's... The LRM to it? Or was that from the kit box? That's probably got a light PPCs. Light rifle position, so it's not coming from there. It must have been the kit Arctic Fox, I mean. Okay. Skipper. I think we want to maintain our speed here. Although it's yeah, I guess it is different. I was going to say it doesn't seem much different, but it is. Okay, let's get in here. Um. Yeah, let's see if we can get some damage on this guy. Oof. Tag on, anyway. that it helps. This is the Anubis. Now normally these guys have missiles, but I guess not. Could be damaged though. What's up, Bach? Alright, um considering not shooting at this guy, but I think we need to take out the Goss emplacement because at the worst possible time, I'll forget that it's there and it'll shoot me in the side and do a lot of damage, so. Plus, if we can get a Goss rifle out of that, that would be really nice. Okay, you can cut it off now. 
receiving you. I really gotta decide what is gonna be our primary uh, damage dealer for this playthrough. Like mech wise. Okay, this should kill the that should kill the turret, I think, if we hit. Stay on flare. Affirmative. Nope. Wow, it's really terrible. We missed with our barrage too. Man, we've even got the height too. And our percentages to hit are really bad. Damage looks light, Commander. Yeah. They spread it around. I'm here. They spread it around, that's a good thing. Okay, this should give you a good shot at that turret. Let's take it. 67 is not bad. Oh, not enough for a kill. We do have an LRM-10 left, which is good. Um, we can't... I mean, too far. I mean, I don't know. Can we get down that way? I think we can. I'm going to bring you around the back here. Roger. You got light armor. And I think you'll probably be a target if you try to come down the center here. Okay, we're going to engage the Kid Fox. Sorry, the Hornet. I thought that was... Why did I think that was the Kid Fox? Ar Arctic Fox. God damn... Uh, whatever. You know what I mean. That guy. That one guy. Hey, look, it's that one guy. Good to go. You'll be a hero if you know what that quote's from. Hey, look, it's that one guy. Yeah, not enough for a kill, though. Yeah, you can cut it out now. My armor's getting blown apart. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, it's always a crapshoot with these guys. Ready to rock. Nope. Um, we got two guys down here. I want to hit them with the flares, I guess. Alright, not bad. Not bad. So this is a Lerm turret back here. Alright. Yeah, I thought for sure we'd be able to take that gauze turret out that turn. It's so iffy with the damage of these guys, like I said, it's like hit or miss most of the time. And we don't have the ability to just sit back and range fire these guys, we gotta close. Because if we don't close, then they're just going to take advantage of that 26%. What's on the turret? 38, eh? This guy's got a pair of LRM-10s. Let's just hit him. Nope. Heat him up, though. Negative damage. Standing by. Okay, you're getting to a point where you can engage. Let's get over to the trees, though. Got it. Then we'll drop down. Okay, Comet's going on 19. I'm sorry, already gone on 19. Who's next, then? 
Waiting for orders. They might be giants, okay. I'm gonna vigilance and I'm gonna sit still. Hopefully we can go before them next turn. I'm gonna try and kill this turret. Nice. Okay. Good. Why would a Goss turret have a double heatsink kit? It's kind of like a waste of resources, don't you think? Okay, Arctic Fox. Can we hit with the Lerm? I guess we can only use the Lerm, so we might as well just shoot at this guy. Okay, a couple points. Commander. All right, speed it up and get as close as you can. On my way. Double time. Now. Uh, 25, 37, 37, 30. I think I want to try and go for this turret back here. Copy that. Nope. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. Heavy damage? Like one or two points or something. Potato, tomato, tomato, to potato, whatever. Try aiming next time. See what you get. Don't tempt fate. Ready for order. Nice. She goes next. All right. So that gambit, that uh, gamble played off there. We got to get On you it. close too. Even with the Artemis, we're not getting that great chance to hit. Thirty-five, eight, sixty-seven on the light rifle position. Forty-eight. Let's keep softening this guy up. It says Arctic Fox, but it sure as hell looks like a Kit Fox to me. Is it just another name for a, for the Kit Fox? Could be. I thought it was a completely different mech though. That's a bonus. Yeah, the weird thing is, is I chose to, to drop farther back because I wasn't sure what we were engaging. They wanted me to drop on like right next to the, the uh, building, right? And I'm like, I have no idea what they have there. That could just be a murder. Like, I could get murdered. But now it's like I drop further back and then we don't have the range to engage from where we were, so... I have to be wary of that the next time I choose where my drop location is going to be. Where is the uh, Arctic Fox here? Right here. Consider it done. All right, we got some open field. We can actually start moving now. It's nice. Thirty-two. Uh, we can shoot with more against this guy, so I'm going to fire on him. I'll make them. Just make him slightly wounded if you can. I don't care as long as you hit with something. Hey, yup. Hey, yup. I keep forgetting we got the bomb mines, man. Um. Let's get into here. Ten four. I think we're in range for the bomb mines now, aren't we? We are here. Not there, though. They're going to spread everywhere. Let's see this off for now. So we'll fire on this guy. Oh, that should help out. My SRMs are out. That's actually not that bad. It's pretty tight. The second one landed over here, though. Oh, well. Yes, Commander. At least it wasn't right in front of my guys. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, Bradford, um, five. Rifle positions illuminated. Let's take the shot on this guy. Got it. Damn it. Ready for orders. Should have realized that. That's my bad. That's up on the hill. Can I not get down here? Oh, I can. Confirmed. I was gonna say, like, how can I not get down here? 
Receiving you. Gotta get close, buddy. Let's move. Still in really bad firing positions here. 25, 30. He's got AMS. That's not bad. That's terrible. Alright, I got really low armor on the turret there, so... Hang in there, buddy. That shot got through my armor. Yeah, you're gonna be bailing out of there in a second. Just hang on there. Ooh, that's uh, a lot of. Ooh, we had two left in the turret. I got you. Let's get some distance on these guys. You had to drop those mines, so. Um, that's not bad. That's slightly better. Let's take it on this guy. Alright, whatever. Now, I didn't see how much damage his legs took there. Ah, shit. I wish these would stay until the next turn, because the zooming in is killing me on not being able to see how much damage it took. Oh, that's actually not that bad. The bomb mines actually do pretty good. Only 10 on this guy. 10 or so. Good to go. And we're down two already. Let's limit what they can shoot at me. Location confirmed. See if we can deal some damage on this guy. He's got the PPCs, which could actually clear the minefield, so I want to make sure we kill him. Who do we have left here? Outrigger? What turn are we on? 15. We got lots of people left. Standing by. Keep pushing. Running out of LRMs. It's okay, we're almost in the SRM range anyway, so let's fire this turret. Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah. Get as much on that turret as you can. Alright, LRM 10, fine. Take it. Okay, not bad. Scored a critical hit. You did. Waiting for orders. Three rounds left, huh? I'm gonna switch this to high explosive because if we just miss, then we'll still do, still do some Locking damage. On. Nice. Yes. Thank you. That turret is gone. Receiving you. All right. Somebody's in for a surprise. Let's go after the Hornet. The Hornet must have started off with a damaged engine. Ooh, that's ouch. Gotta get that turret. Losing lots of armor. Damage is mine. They've got good positioning here because it, it's no matter what our approach is, it's all open fields. Which is really sucky for us. Okay, more damage to the legs for this guy. Feel free to move as much as you want in there. I'm good with that. 16 points, that's not bad on each leg. We'll take that. Systems holding. Six points. Ooh. 
Failed shutdown override. Yes, Commander. Going down. All right, now, um, how far can we get here? It's actually not bad. Understood. Moving fast. It's so much harder with uh, vehicles, that's for sure. 21. This guy's shut down. It's not worth it shooting at that guy. Anubis is stealth. Let's go this route. Ooh, not enough, eh? Target. Oh, or at least there's a knockdown. At least there's a knockdown. Come on, lose your legs. How much did he take? 13 on each leg, okay. Only got one of them. Standing by. 50%. Can we get a direct line of sight on that back turret? We cannot. Unless we go somewhere here, but it's only a partial. No, it's a full. Alright, let's uh... Two hundred and forty, eh? Let's go standard. Locking on target. Nope. Damn it. Order. Let's make sure that missile turret doesn't get a direct, direct shot at us. Not bad on that guy. Crappy. That guy I'm not really that worried about. He's got AMS, so let's go after this guy. Alright, couple points. Ready for orders. Let's move. Get close. Closer the better. Yep. Okay, a few good leg hits there. Looks like we opened the uh, armor up. It looks like a head hit too. Nice. You had a lot more head hits now. Not sure if that was intentional again, where they've introduced more head hits or what, but... Confirm. Definitely a lot more head hits. Okay, a couple leg hits. Hopefully if he runs back through the minefield, he'll lose his leg and fall over. Ow. Alright. Five against five right now. Three of us go on 16, that's good. So the Anubis is going first. Hopefully it runs back through the minefield. And not away from us. Oh, looks like it's going to take a bit more damage here. Is it moving forward? It is. Did not see how much damage it took, but hopefully it's into the red. Almost. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Those mines are doing their job there. Um... Yeah. Okay, if we can take this guy's leg. I'm just going to shoot though because we have the best chance to hit this way. We've got lucky and take a great if not. Then hopefully he runs and uh, the minefield gets it for us. A 
Come on, hit it. Damn it! Standing by. It's such a hit and miss vehicle. Yeah, if we move here, then that guy's the the missile turret sees us. Oh, here's not bad. We'll go here. Aye missile aye. turret can't see us directly. It's always worse when they can see you directly. Come on, leg, leg, leg. Take that. All right, well he's going now. Come on, lose the leg, lose the leg. Nope. Damn it. See ya. <sighs> okay. Receiving you. Don't want that turret to see me directly. Let's go to here and get some stability back. Well, if we get lucky and hit that leg. Come on. Nope. It's just not our day. Just not our day. Okay, hammer him. Get the leg. Yep, nice. Okay, now we should be able to focus far that other leg. Those 15s, man. Yes, command. Yeah, see, having that waypoint mod is going to be great because then I can, like, click here and then click over here. You know what I mean? No way to get around the, away from that turret, eh? Well, at least this way we'll get more evasion. You know, and if this if I was playing like not in this series, and it was just just a base defense mission, I could have just switched my tar my targeting to the base and then just forgotten about these guys. But that's not what this is about. This is about uh, eliminating the enemies here, so I have to kill everything. I don't know if we got the juice now. Damn it. Okay. That was a hard hit. It was. How's this guy's legs doing though? Still okay. Orders. Let's hope we get lucky. Aye, aye. That should do it. Okay. Enemy down. Ready for orders. Gonna shoot this down. Let's go this route. Aye aye. Orders. All right, not bad. I hope we got a good chance to hit here. Maybe we can take his leg. Well, not really, but... Uh, let's hold on to those, but let's go after this guy here. 
No. Yeah, I'll get to you in a minute. I'm showing minor damage. Pilot killed by heat. Wow. Yeah, he must have, like, super overheated. He must have had a damaged engine to start. It's the only thing I can, only thing I can think of. Okay, he took five points in landmine damage. It's the only thing I can think of is why he had so much damage on him to start. Damage is light. Receiving you. Hopefully that uh, turret shoots at this guy. Receiving you. Get out of the line of the sight of the missile turret. Stay in the sight of the Anubis if you can. It's not bad. Aye, aye. Got almost no armor left though. Hip shot. Scored a critical hit. Good to go. It's gotta be this guy. Okay, good damage. Commander. my way. We really got to, uh, fingers crossed for this guy. How much has his leg got? Not much on that side. Okay, one hit in the leg. Two hits. Not quite enough. Nice. Got past his armor. Got past the armor. He didn't have any armor to start. God, that turret's got to go. Okay, that's good. Two misses. I hope we have enough to pull this base down after we're done. Let's just shoot him. Fingers crossed. Left arm. Medium and small down. Laser insulator destroyed. Come on, back into the minefield. That's it. Yes. Yes. Enjoy that, buddy. Have a seat. Left leg down. Standing by. Why all of a sudden is it? We had 50 before. Bad sensor roll, I guess. I can't. I can't. You know what we're going to do? Going to do that. Roger that. Hopefully it applies a minus to hit for him. Good to go. Let's get on this turret. Crank the machine gun up. Missed with everything. Oh, we destroyed a building apparently. Negative damage. Ready for orders. So hopefully that's enough for the AMS up there. And it shouldn't block these guys. Well, we should turn this off. Now leave it on. Okay. Ow. Ready for orders. Look at this. Good to go. That should be able to take this guy out of the battle, I think. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud, you can't even hit the leg? Commander. So that's the left and the back. So if I turn like this, 
That should be okay, in theory. Hopefully some of these get through. Laser got through. Got all the missiles. Commander. Your armor is intact. There we go, back to 63. Firing. Oh shit, we missed. I got one shot left. Waiting for orders. So you're left and front. Got it. I hope I'm making the right choice here. I'm gonna leave these off. We may need them for the buildings. They got a crappy chance to hit, so. Fuck. How was he able to hit the- Come on, move forward and fall over. Figuring out the damage. Figuring out the damage, lose the leg and fall over. Or just fall over. I don't know where you're going. It does this every once in a while when you're and it's in a minefield and the mech's having a hard time with the like the how much it can move. So he didn't really go anywhere. He's on fire though. Orders. Do we just shoot this guy? Stealth X is supposed to be destroyed. Why is it not, uh... It's still stealth. Come on, bail out. I think I hit something good. Yes, Commander. I think we're gonna lose this one. You got a heavy machine gun. Let's get closer. <laughs> One round left, and 56% is not good enough for that. I copy. Okay, nice. Solid connection on that. As long as we're doing a little bit of damage, is all that matters. Firing. Okay, good. <laughs> After all the missions we've done, where we haven't lost anybody, you know, or just lost one or two vehicles, it's a mission like this, which should be pretty simple. I don't know whether I'm just cacking it because I'm not doing the right things or if it's just the wrong mix of stuff. We started on a hill. They started where all their guys could see us. And they had the right mix of long-range turrets and all kinds of stuff. So, I don't know if that was it or what it is. Yes, Commander. Get this back on. Hopefully we hit him. Now we get him. Oh, did you see that piece fly off? Mech destroyed. That guy's gone. Waiting for orders. You'll just shoot the missile down. That's too low. Um, although, you can't do anything to the grenade launcher. One point is one point. Yep. It's got lots of SRM2 ammo, that's why I'm not, that's why I'm not worried about using it here. If one gets through, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, good. Great damage. Yes, finally. Target destroyed. Things are looking up, kind of. Okay, smoke's cleared. Receiving you. We're gonna take a chance here. Yes. I'm 
out of long range missiles. What's up, boss? Do I go through the uh I think we focus on this turret. On it. Damn it. At least one or two of those should have hit. That's a miss. Yeah. Now, can you push this turret and get inside the LRM range? I think you can. Go in full throttle. I think you can. Even with our relatively low percentage chance to hit, we're getting even lower hit ratios than the percentage would say. Oh, he's got dead fire. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah, well, take him. Waiting for orders. Yeah, all of a sudden we got like no chance to hit. Uh, I'll take the LRM off, go this route. Orders. Confirmed. Ah, oh, man. What a match. Okay, so we're right and back. Yes, yes, destroy it. Come on. Are you kidding me? Target taken. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? At least we targeted him. Are you fucking kidding me? What has it got? Like one hit point left? Ready for orders. You know how many hit points it's got left? It's got I'm cheating, ask how many hit points it's got left. Target is You know what? Standing by. That thing doesn't even deserve to be destroyed by a proper weapon. You get a friggin' grenade launcher. Roger. Fuck you. One left Death by grenade launcher. How embarrassing for you. What do you need? At least all these guys died. That way they don't no one else can hear about our poor performance here. Structure down. We need to kill everybody here. Nobody can walk away. Nobody can find out how poorly we did in this battle. All right, fire on this building. Die. For orders. Copy that. Well, Bradford got got through this just about unscathed. Didn't even get a chance to use the heavy machine gun until now. Locked on. Ready for orders. Wish I could multi-target with this guy. I thought maybe I had the ability, but no, I don't. Take this one. There it is, folks. Finally, oh my god. What a horrible match. So I think if I was to do that one again, for sure, I think I would just start closer to the enemy. My lack of ability to fire with most of my vehicles and stuff early on I think is what really killed me. I think if we were able to fire um, earlier on, I think it would have made a huge difference overall. But I, we, we took so much, well not so much, but a, a half decent amount of damage, that's nice, before we even got into the fight. So now we'll take that for sea bills because we're going to need it. I'm going to take this. Maybe. What else we got? Pharaoh, heat bank, 
Guardian ECM. We've got Pharaoh and stuff. Double heats, double heats in kit. Let's take that. Laser insulator, minus three heat per turn, minus five percent heat generated by lasers. Oh, sorry, buddy. Much as I want those three pieces, I think there's other stuff here that we could use depending on what other, what like what we choose out like otherwise. Like this and this, and maybe this we could use on the uh, enforcer. Which I think would be better. We have a standard fusion core, which I think we may need. Ooh, LRM Artemis rounds. Don't have any of these. I'm thinking I should take one as a backup for the uh, mobile turret, or maybe we take two double heat sinks. The heat bank's not bad. We've got one of these in the mobile turret. So we don't need... Do we have an endo steel? We do. We've got one. So I think we do the double heat sinks. Because if we can use this and the two heat sinks and this for the enforcer, that might put together a half decent mech. And we go with the enforcer and the mobile turret and we just leave it at that. Alright, let's do that and see what we get here. Okay, three Anubis parts. We did get the three Arctic Fox parts. That's good. Regular Gauss rifle. White PPC plus capacitor. We'll take that. LRM5. We've got one. Let's just sell this. Medium laser. How many do we have? Three. We can sell that. 180 core. We'll hold on to. XL we'll hold on to. We can get rid of these because I took some last mission. We can get rid of that. Omnipod hands and lower arm we'll keep. Just in case we somehow get an Omni. And we're going to sell both of these because we're going to need the money to fix our, our stuff up here, I think. Or no, we won't. It's pretty much free, I think, for fixing vehicles. All right, yeah, so we, we keep our vehicles, which is a good thing. That's, that is the uh, the bonus thing about this playthrough. Now, we've got a um, another Urban Mech, Urban Knight UK 9000, um, that I was fixing up for this playthrough. But I might not use this one. I might just go straight to the Enforcer. Which, I, I don't know if we've got the C... How much... Are we ready this? We're paying 507000 a month. Like, I've also got a vehicle that's reserved in here. We've got enough Gladiator parts. As well, but that's an older mech. This is an yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be the Enforcer. Because the one thing we're, la we're lacking is a severe amount of firepower. Especially from range. So if we can get a, a mech in with hopefully some long range stuff. Then that is going to help significantly. But I'll worry about that later. I'm going to leave this episode here guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like. If you haven't subscribed. Please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time. We'll see you later.